Why was Ferrari so good in Australia? The magic combination for the Scuderia's success was track layout, circuit surface and tire selection. Albert Park was reconfigured and resurfaced, ahead of the 2022 event. Some of the track's lower corners were expunged, and most of the remaining ones were widened and cambered to increase speed. From an F1 car's perspective, the track is now a mix of easily flat-out stretches and medium-speed bends. That plays together with the new surface, super smooth and low in roughness compared to the average track. It's very slippery, the mixture of those factors means the track is very low energy. There are no high-speed corners or big traction zone to heat up the tires instead it exists in the middle ground, where the tires slide a lot along the surface. The sliding generates tire graining, you probably heard this term used plenty of times during the weekend. Graining occurs when the bulk of the tire stays cold even when the tread heats up as it slides along the track surface, because the bulk of the tire is cold, it can't support the tread as well as it should as it moves around. The tread then grains up and comes off. A little bit like the bits of debris that come off a rubber eraser when you rub it against some paper. Pirelli's decision to bring its softest tires to Melbourne exacerbated this effect. This all matters because, it's not the way tires behave at most circuits. At circuits with either faster corners, more abrasive surfaces or bigger traction zones, preventing the tires from overheating is more important than generating bulk temperature. The Red Bull racing car, RB20 is extremely good at keeping tires cool. That's why it's usually so much faster in the race, than in qualifying, and at a track where that doesn't count for anything. The RB20 wasn't generating enough energy in the tires. Its advantage dissipated, Ferrari came through to win the Grand Prix, 1 and 2. The other Red Bull driven by Sergio Perez finished 5th, 56 seconds behind race leader Carlos Sainz.